Good evening. I'm the address lady, and my special guest this evening is Parson Ed. Parson Ed is going to give us a very special address, reading from the new revised version standard. <laughs> As Eve and Adam wandered in the wilderness, they found paths without number and signposts without signs. <laughs> and Eve nagged Adam, but Adam could not ask direction. <laughs> and they were lost. And then the Lord gave them wisdom to know here from there. And so began the naming of places. And the name they multiplied until they were numerous beyond knowing. And so, to know one name from another, the Lord gave them addresses. And it was written, in the book of Numbers it was written, that the places shall be numbered in order along the streets. Even in odd shall we the numbers be created and they shall not be mixed. And it was good. And it was written in the book of street names, it was written that the streets shall be named and each name shall be different. And each name shall be divisible into its proper parts. And the points between the crossing of the streets, their numbers were formed into ranges. And it was grid. And the numbers and the names and the places together made addresses. And the names were numbered and the numbers were named and the names were named. And the places were known, and the lost were found. And IT was good. But in these modern times, our addresses and our data fall short of our standards. Odd numbers where there are mixing with even. There are numbers out of sequence. Street names are duplicated and cannot be distinguished. Abbreviations have settled into our databases like a plague. <laughs> them out, these abominations. Be healed, databases. <laughs> Data records, orphaned from their metadata, wandering lost as we will wander lost if we forget our address data standard as it was written. Parson Head, Parson Head, just let's not get too worked up, shall we? Uh, let's, let's, let's just compose yourself a little bit. I want to ask you some questions about your address data. Uh, yes, 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 of course. <laughs> tell, tell us. Tell us about the new revised version standard and how it helped you get your address data under control. How long did it take you to get those confusing little numbers under control and all those names straightened out, Parson Ed? Six days it took, address lady. <laughs> Six days. And on the seventh day, I did the metadata and version controls. <laughs> Isn't that spatial? <laughs> well, I, I still have a few questions. Let's, let's look at this. <laughs> yes, I thought, I, I thought you said we had all these address numbers. Oh, 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 it looks like somebody forgot to delete, uh, uh, retire that address. Uh, <laughs> and, and, and here. Um, how did this creep you? Uh, 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 doesn't this number belong somewhere else? Ill-disciplined people. But anomalies do creep in. Address lady, the standard does provide for anomalies. And, 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 and what's this? And, you know, doesn't, you know, directionals and types all mixed up in such a confusing way. Poor practice. When will they learn? Never let a transportation engineer name a roadway. <laughs> Parson Ed, Parson Ed, there are duplicate names. Who could have done that? Uh, who, who now? Oh, address lady, the developer made me do it. <laughs> developer? Developer? Satan? <laughs> oh. And, and this. What? what? Oh, oh, oh. Doesn't that just get your little boots oh. tingling? Oh. Parson Ed, an alternate loop. Flaming Gorge? Oh! <laughs> so, so Parson Ed, tell us again about how you mapped all your addresses in, in only six days. How did, how did you do that again? Uh, <clears throat> uh, well, um, I, I geocoded them, address lady. But I got a 98% match rate. <laughs> six days. 
Yeah, geocoded. And what sort of fuzzy tolerance did you use, Parson Ed? Um, 75%. Uh, uh, well, isn't that convenient? <laughs> and why do so many of these addresses have you know, no little fish bones? Who could have done that? Who could it be? Satan? Worse, a software developer. <laughs> Made me do it. <laughs> Sounds like you need to do a little more studying on your new revised version standard, Parson Ed, and practice what you preach. <laughs> thank, thank you all.